So anyone who's ever licked a Nintendo Switch cartridge will confirm they taste bad, and the bitterness stays in your mouth for a while. You can thank denatonium benzoate for that. It's one of the most unpleasant tastes out there, and carts are coated with it so people and pets won't accidentally swallow them. Before we had better storage for books and records, they'd be kept in places where mice and rats could easily munch on them. But they'd only chew around the edges. Margin lines were put there to keep the writing away from the edge, so you don't lose any important information to the rodents. Take a closer look at your red Solo party cup. The lines around it are for measuring liquids. The bottom line equals 1 ounce, the second is 5 ounces, and the top line means you have 12 ounces in your cup. You've probably been storing your peanut butter wrong your whole life. The trick is to keep the jar upside down so the oils don't come up on the surface. Sometimes screwdrivers are meant to work together with wrenches. It helps especially if you're working at an awkward angle. Just slide the wrench onto the screwdriver's handle. It fits snugly. And next time you need to put in a hook screw, put the screw eye into your drill. The round end will hold the hook in place, and the project will go a lot quicker. If you don't have a screw eye on hand, use a key. The black grating on your microwave door is called a Faraday shield. It prevents the rays from escaping the oven. But get this, it can also block phone signals. So if you're tired of endless calls and texts, put your phone in the microwave. Just don't turn it on. If you get a box of chocolates with a little dent in between the holes for the candy, push it. The chocolate surrounding it will pop right out of their snug little compartments. You shouldn't have to push the sweet from the bottom, though. This weighs much quicker. You try to pull out some aluminum foil, but the roll keeps coming out of the box. It's not supposed to. Push in the tabs on the sides of the box. They'll hold the roll in place. Don't throw away those little silica gel packets you get in new shoes and bags. You can use them to absorb moisture in any place it collects. Foam get wet? Put it in a plastic baggie with a silica gel packet. It'll get the water out. Throw one in your shoes to keep them smelling fresh. Tape one to the lid of your pet's food container to keep mold out. You can even put a packet in your toolbox to prevent rust. Women's shirts oddly have buttons on the left, even though most people are right-handed. It comes from the times when upper-class ladies would have handmaidens dress them. The wearer's left became the dresser's right, so it was easy for them. Pants creases have their story, too. To squeeze in as many goods as possible to transport them, folded pants got heavily pressed. It was next to impossible to get rid of the resulting creases, so why not make them fashionable? There's a loop on the back of your button-up shirt, so you can hang it without it getting wrinkled. And fun fact, back in the day, it showed your availability. Young guys used to cut those loops off once they started dating someone. Doorknobs are usually made of brass, bronze, or some other copper alloys for a reason. They have an antimicrobial effect. They get rid of germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. But you still have to wash your hands after touching doorknobs. Rough edges on the sides of coins come from an ancient practice. The weight of coins made from precious metals used to show the real value of the coin. People would shave off the edges, melt them together, and make new coins from what they collected. To avoid that, ridges were added, so you could see if a coin had been tampered with. Toothpaste stripes are no more than a marketing trick. In the 70s, a leading toothpaste brand introduced a blue stripe to show that their product had double the action. Mmm. Solid white toothpaste have the same functions, though. Those blue bristles on your brush are a lot more helpful than toothpaste stripes. When they fade, it's time to change your toothbrush. Take the lid off your to-go cup and turn it upside down. You'll get an instant coaster. It has a rim on the inside that your cup bottom fits into perfectly. If you prefer your soda in a bottle, check out the little plastic disc in the cap. It's there to keep the gases in your carbonated drink. Without it, you'd just have syrupy brown water. Ew. Detachable headrests in a car can be used to break the windows in case you get stuck in. Just don't go swinging at the window, though. You could hurt yourself. Slide one of the prongs in between the pane and the door. Pull the headrest back towards yourself, and the window will shatter. 
Don't forget about the tab on the bottom of your rearview mirror. Pull it back during nighttime driving. If someone's behind you, their headlights won't be blinding. Pull the tab forward again for daytime driving. The spoon to your McFlurry looks so weird with all those tabs because it's actually fitted to the ice cream machine to stir your treat. Bath foam isn't only for fun or a nice smell. The bubbles keep your bath water warm for longer. The air inside them acts as insulation. But it only works for acrylic bathtubs. Ones made from metal lose heat really fast either way. Small holes on your headphones let the air circulate, which is a must for good sound quality. Wooden hangers may be bulky, but you should still opt for them over plastic or metal. Hangers made from cedar keeps moths away. The oils in the wood are a natural insect repellent. You can also add some dry orange peels to your closet to keep the bugs away. Condiment cups at some fast food places are supposed to be used like plates, not bowls. Pull the edges outwards and then squeeze on your favorite sauce. Now you'll have room to dunk those chicken nuggets. A fabric sample attached to a new piece of clothing isn't for patching holes. Well, you could do that, but its true purpose is to do a test patch before you wash the garment itself. It'll let you know if the item will fade, wrinkle, or pill in the wash. Bobby pins don't stay in place as well if you don't have the groove side down against your scalp. Even if this isn't enough and the pin just won't stay in place, spray some hairspray on it. It'll get sticky and hold even the smallest strand. If you have some juice or milk in a carton container, don't pour it with the opening toward your glass. Flip the carton around so the opening is higher. It won't glug out and make a mess when you pour it. Now, monkeys know better than anybody how to peel a banana the right way. They do it from the bottom, not the stem. That way, the top of the fruit doesn't get all squished when the stem refuses to split. From the bottom, it works every time. That dent in the bottom of a wine bottle was originally put there so that wine would stand straight up without tipping over. That was back when bottles were hand-blown, and there would sometimes be excess glass bulging out of the bottom. So they tucked the excess glass in, and this so-called punt was born. Now we have machines that can make the bottom perfectly flat, but the tradition stuck around. A triple handle on a jerry can is there to make it easier for two people to carry it without the fuel inside sloshing around. As for gas cans, be sure to take the cap off that tiny hole on the other side of the nozzle. It lets air in as the gas leaves, so the stuff won't glug out. Same reason why coffee lids have a tiny hole in them. And now you know!